What up, YouTube? RX Hacks is like a box here yeah, for another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to get Frost Wire for free. It's for free in the first place, so I'm gonna show you to download it. The link will be in the description below. Alright, first, you wanna launch your, your browser. You're gonna wanna come to the link provided in the description. You're gonna come to the link. You're gonna wanna click the big green button. As of now, I'm pretty sure it doesn't support Mac. Because there's a giant window symbol right here. You're going to want to click download. You're going to want to download it. Personally, I just upgraded to Windows 7. So I actually need to download it. So I'm going to pause the video while it's downloading. Alright, you're going to want to come to this button. This, not this button, this screen. It's going to ask you over here, depending on your browser. I personally have Google Chrome. You're going to want to click save. It's gonna start downloading and I'm gonna pause the video. I'll get back when it's done. Alright, my download just finished and right here, I'm gonna click it. Yep. Alright, now we're gonna start going through the installation process of Frostwire. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything. Alright, just popped up on the bottom. You're gonna wanna click next. You're gonna wanna click agree. Uh, personally, I'm, uh, I'm gonna unclick this. Uh, actually, I'm gonna click this. Next, next. No, you don't want to do that. I'm just gonna slow down your computer. It's your choice if you want that bar, but it's pretty pointless. Don't ever get toolbars. All they do is slow down your computer. I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't even work on Google Chrome. All right, since we have nine eight minutes left, I'm going to pause the video yet again, and I'll be right back. All right. It just started finishing up and I'm waiting for my PC to learn Java. Don't know how long this is gonna take. Alright, let's have a talk. So what kind of tutorials do you guys wanna see? What's the kind of length that you guys want to see for a tutorial? How long? Do you want short? you want no commentary? Want me to do it in notepad? Anything? Leave your comments below. No. You know, do whatever. Do, do whatever you feel. Alright, since, since it's taking for, for my PC to learn Java, I'm going to pause it again and come back to you guys. Alright, so after that, after it finished, it then uh, did something with the libraries, I'm pretty sure. I forget, I went and got a drink. But, alright, so give me an application right here. Uh, give me a shortcut right here to the program itself. This, alright, right, I'm just gonna run it. Same thing as clicking that. Finish. That's a nice picture. Sorry that everything is taking so long. I'm not too sure. Alright, maybe because it's the first boot up. I don't know. Oh, I was always a fan of LimeWire. I used it for years. Alright, it's going to ask you to pick the folder that you want. Personally. I want it to go into my music library because I have Windows 7. So I'm going to want to click Dalvin Music Select. Alright. 
select. You're gonna want to select it. Chain folders. And I'm gonna want to pull this tab up. English, unless you want different. Uh, yep. Uh, um, all right, whatever. Just leave it. Fix it later. Click next. Order five for you. Just pass. Just you can do that later. I honestly don't even know my internet connection, so I'm just gonna click broadband unsure. Uh, I do not want it to start automatically. Hmm. All right, there we go. Oh, yep, all right, yep, yep. All right. I personally don't want it to start up automatically. You, if you choose that, you can. Next. Nope. Uh, next. Check that off. For agreeing with their terms and agreements and copyright and all that stuff. Alright, you now have Frostwire. Um, you have Frostwire downloaded, installed, ready to use. Alright, have a good day, comment, rate, subscribe.